This is a battery and this is a resistor. When connected together through an electrical conductor, also known as a wire, they form a basic electrical circuit. And this little guy right here, he is a switch. An electric circuit is in many ways similar to your circulatory system. You can imagine your blood vessels, veins and capillaries as the wires in the circuit. The blood vessels, for instance, they carry the flow of blood through your body just like the wires in the circuit carry the electric current to the various parts of an electrical system. Your heart is the pump that drives the blood circulation in the body. It provides the force or pressure for blood to circulate, supply in various organs like your muscles, your brain and your digestive system. Similarly, a battery or generator produces voltage force that drives current through the circuit. Take this simple example, two wires connected to a light. For electrons to do their job in producing light, there must be a complete circuit so they can flow through the light bulb and then back out. When the switch is off, a complete circuit does not exist and there is no flow of current. But when the switch is on, a complete circuit is formed and current can flow, resulting in the flash bulb emitting light. And how do I know in which direction the current flows? Truth is, I don't. Always be confident to pick a reference direction and stick with it during all calculations. Mathematics eventually tells you in which direction the current actually flows, independent of your initial choice. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, don't forget to comment. As always, thanks for watching.